The current problem began in 1992 when Congress passed the Prescription Drug User Fee Act. This is an act designed to acquire uh, fees for new drug applications when you, they have a brand new drug that they want to get uh, marketed. Uh, and uh, the FDA collects fees for these uh, submissions. In return, the FDA agreed to uh, reduce the amount of time they spent reviewing the drug before deciding whether it should be marketed or not. Uh, this created actually uh, three major problems. First, uh, the time to review a drug was reduced from two and a half years down to about, in 1998, uh, 10 months. Uh, this resulted in rushing drugs actually to market without an adequate time to evaluate their safety. Uh, second, the user fees over the years have gotten larger and larger to the point where they are somewhere around 55 to 60 percent of the FDA's budget for the drug division of that entity, um, which makes the, the brass, the upper echelon of the FDA, see the drug industry more as a partner rather than uh, a entity that they should be supervising. Uh, third, uh, this particular law had a sunset clause, so it expires every five years, meaning that if the FDA is not doing things that the drug industry is happy with, they could pull their support after five years and the FDA would lose about 50 to 60 percent of its budget. So it, it makes it amenable to the FDA brass to be doing things to uh, make the drug industry happy about how they are evaluating drugs. As a consequence, drugs are being rushed to the market without adequate evaluation uh, to more accommodate the drug industry than to evaluate the safety to Americans using the drug products. Thank you.